Hi, and welcome to the club. You will love creating this happy welcome with its vintage style and customizable accents. It is a perfect fit for our double-sided 6 by 18 inch box frame and comes together quick and easy. Your shipment this month comes with everything you see here. The B-sized welcome transfer and three paste singles in Storm, Peachy Keen and Guava. I've gathered my project supplies here, so let's get started. I'll begin with my transfer trimmers to cut along the provided lines. Using the first half of the word, I'll remove the backer and place it sticky side down on our fuzzing cloth, or you could use a terry cloth towel. This will just pick up a bit of lint to ease the adhesive and make it easier to remove from my surface after pasting. I'll position it on the left side of the board and get it smoothed out, adhered with no bubbles or wrinkles in the transfer. Now I'll prepare the last few letters, again pressing them to the fuzzing cloth first before I stick it to the board. Now since I want to add the flower here in place of the letter O, I'm putting it a bit farther to the right than I would have if I just wanted the word welcome. I'll prepare my first paste color by kneading the packet a bit, just to make sure the paste is mixed and ready to go. Then I'll just tear the top off and squeeze some out onto my color tray. Just a handy plastic dish that I'm using as a palette. I'll do the same with guava and peachy keen paste as well, just so I'm ready to go. Now I'll load up a mini squeegee with Storm. It is like the perfect neutral gray. And I'll smooth that paste over the letters. Once I've got the screened area covered, and of course I'm skipping the O so that I can include that pretty flower there. Now I'll scrape off the excess and then peel back the transfer before the paste dries on the screen. Oh, looking good. I'll set that aside to wash later and then I'll catch the last two letters here in the same gray. I love designs with this kind of distressing. A little come and go makes it feel vintage and makes the design more forgiving. Now I'm ready to add the flower. I'll fuzz this piece first, just like the others, then get it placed right in the gap on the box frame. See, that will finish the word nicely. Now I'll use a clean squeegee and load it up with guava paste. I love this color so, so much. It is a total favorite. I'll get it smoothed on here, covering the screen and removing the excess, then peel up the transfer. I've got the flower center here now, fuzzed and placed right in the center of that lovely guava flower, and I'll chalk this with peachy keen. Finally, I'll use the little leaf and I'll just have a touch of placement tape here to mask off the top. That's just like a washi tape that is easily removed. Then I'll come back in with Storm again to just catch the bottom half, and there it is. What a warm welcome! You might not even be sorry to take Christmas decor down when you have something this darling to display. And you can customize it any way you like by mixing up the colors, the design elements, or the surface. It's always high-end DIY home decor with Club Couture. Happy chalking!